Straight out of Compton, original streets Grew up with the lion, see what the criminals see Now he a giant and a pivotal key Got it down to a science, this the visual streets He came up with bullet, he came up with turtle Live life to the fullest, he put it all in the journal We dodging them bullets, we jumping them hurdles It's the hood postman, we in the streets, universal uh. For the postman, Professor Billy Mayo. This is not a glorification or a glamorization This is an education you can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and the 15th. Lock the door. Lock the door. You know what I'm saying? I call it YouTube wars. YouTube gang banging wars, man. That's the new thing going on right now. Gang banging on the internet, gang banging on this dude, gang banging on that dude, calling that dude out his name. I watch it, man. I watch it all the time, man. It's all a setup. People put, putting out paperwork. You know, American Cholo is uh, trying to make it racial, which it is not racial. Like I told a couple of people I talked to, but I didn't put it on my YouTube channel. When uh, Lupe and Wack got into it on Clubhouse, it's not racial. Wack got a hundred percent to call her whatever she, he wants to call her, cause she got a hundred percent whatever he wants to call her, him. But you know what I'm saying? He didn't call her no wetback. Everybody want to make things racial on the internet and run with it to get views and try to start a racial conflict. But half of them ain't gonna bust a grape. They gonna they gonna start so much stuff and then go to the back of the line. Well, everybody else is putting their li life on the um, front line, you know. But like I said, Lupe is no longer a Latina when she steps out on them L.A. streets. She's from a black gang. The Latinas and the, and the Mexicans do not respect her. They call her all type of names. They call probably call her Poncha, uh, the end lover, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the world right now how it's going, Melly Mel, it ain't, it's all going to be biracial kids in this world because Mexican women's messing with black black dudes. Black dudes are mess, messing with Mexican women. And they having kids together. White dude, white women mess with black dudes. They, it's all racial. And it's going to kill. That's what they don't like. They want 100% Chicano, Mexican, 100% white, 100% black. You know how people get into it when you see a black man with a white woman. Oh, he a sellout, this and that. You know it shouldn't be that way, you know what I'm saying? But all this YouTube wars going on back and forth and try to make it a racial thing. Oh, he said something about the Rasa. He said something about the black. Come on, man, knock it off, man. It ain't nothing racial. I'm going to tell you what's really racial. And a lot of people ain't going to like it. What's really racial? Blacks killing blacks. Mexicans killing Mexicans. That's racial. That's really racial. Explain, Slick. Because, you know what I'm saying? If I call somebody out their name a, a, a racial racial comment, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter when somebody call you a racial comment. It should be a compliment because they're looking at you. They're hating on you. It should be a compliment from somebody to call me a wetback or I'm trying to be I'm trying to be black or he trying to be black or he trying to be white. The racial thing in my book is our own people killing our own people. And then when somebody say something racial on the internet, you want the Mexican people to back you up. But all the time, Mexicans is killing Mexicans, blacks is killing blacks. That's racial. You know what I'm saying? You're well, killing off your own people. But when you get on the internet and say, oh, this black guy said something uh, uh, towards the Rasa, we got to stand up. Rasa, come together. How you going to come together while everybody killing each other? Oh, he said something about the blacks. Uh, blacks, too black, too strong. How you going to say, let's come together? Well, we killing each other. You see what I'm saying? That's a bunch of bull crap. That's a bunch of bull crap right there. Are we going to come together, man? We're going to come together. But this YouTube is keeping us divided. Because everybody say something. And then when somebody calls somebody whole card out, they freeze up. And then trying to have some, trying to get other people to back their play and try to feel sorry for them and putting fake paperwork out there and all that. I got called. I ain't gonna lie, I was at work at Beverly Hills. 
I got called by a certain individual, two certain individuals. It was on we was on the freeway, and they said they got this paperwork on old dude that's starting the racial stuff. American now, uh, uh, Gill. You know I ain't gonna call him American Control Gill. You know what I'm saying? They called me with the paperwork. They were like, can you reach out to such and such? I'm like, yeah, I could reach out. We got it. We want to sit down and do this. So I'm like, all right. But like I told them, we need proof. We can't just go on assumptions. We need it in black and white and all that. We can't go on assumptions to do that because you're going to make everybody look stupid going on the Internet saying we got paperwork and it probably ain't really real. You know, I don't. Paperwork has to have a clerk stamp. It has to have a time stamp and a clerk stamp on it for it to be authenticated. Other than that, it's just something somebody put together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's for views, man. This YouTube gets so out of hand, man. Like the other dude, the Armenian dude. G-Face. Yeah, he, you know. He but did. let me say this about G-Face, right? I get what he's trying to do, and, and I kind of like enjoy him. But at the same time, I know that he's Armenian, and then he started claiming white fence. And then he went from white fish to his whole. He, if you watch his mannerisms and how he speak and how he and how his dialect is and his tone, it's all black. And I'm not and I'm not criticizing him for that. But a lot of what we go through is really cultural wars. It depends on because before the 1600s, slick, we didn't even know what color we were. White people made that up. So it's we really just color, culture man, yeah we're the same culture. culture it's only one different race and that's shade. the human race just like in the coloring coloring yeah. um, box different colors different shade. we use all the colors but it's only one race it's a, that is the human race it's the human race we're human beings at the end of the day you know but, but it's just culture that that divides us people get on here but i can feel cartoon man cartoon i watch him he's a good he, cartoon is a very good story i love color. cartoon cartoon been through the penitentiary it don't matter he did time in the California State Penitentiary. He did most of the time in Alabama, you know what I'm saying, in the South. I can feel him, you know what I'm saying? He been through it just like the South Side has been through it and all that, you know. We'll just get, we could play poker cartoon with your big ass, with your two damn earrings. Well, what that mean, two earrings right there? God, I'm a, we could play domino too, I'm going to knock the earrings. When I call it 20, I'm going to knock the earrings out. And then you're going to get Lupe on the side saying, neighborhood, nah, bro. No, we ain't going to do that. You know, we ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But it went back and forth. You know what I'm saying? And G-Face get on there. Like, I don't know. You know, calling people out their name. If you call another man a bitch, them fighting words. Yeah, exactly. Matter of fact, they are. They go. They're going to come to blows, knife yeah, or gun. All that. One know, of the two. Know. One of the three. You better, better back it up, man. You know. But what did you think about when you went to the homie hangouts? Oh, hangout. Uh, put paperwork out. I don't. I go. I like to surf, and go on there. Like I go on Sunny, Sunny page. And he put him uh, Gill out there. Sunny got a good story too. But it's like they dividing each other up the place. You know, I go to Sunny. I go to all they shit and see what they talking about, man. Some of them fabricating stories when they did that, but they trying to, well, to me, they trying to say, oh, we trying to say the kids from going to jail. No, you're not. You're glorifying yourself, and these kids is glorifying you, you glorifying your story. So they want, oh yeah, he did it. So if he could do it, I could do it. You're glorifying it. You're not trying to stop them from going to the penitentiary because. They listen to this video and say, oh, you listen, you went, we was with the big homies. You was making these knives, these flannels and all that shit. And you know what I'm saying? All it is, you training these youngsters to go to this penitentiary system, the jail system, for failure. You're glorifying your story. You know what I'm saying? You didn't at the end, oh, I ain't trying to glorify my story. I'm trying to have it used. No. They got a mind of their own. You know, they're going to do what they want to do, want to do at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like me, when I look at the, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Some, some is interesting stories and all that, but you're glorifying yourself. Oh, I was in the hole. Who want to be in the hole? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I was walking along the track. Oh, I was in a riot. You know what I'm saying? This and I had a keister, a knife, this long. You know what I'm saying? Who want, you know what I'm saying? Who want to do that, man? You know what I'm saying? The kids right No, here, I don't know what you're saying. You've been in there. You probably was probably training yourself to put your shit in the suitcase. You know what I'm saying? Because when something hit, you go to a business, something hit, you got to train yourself to hoop it. You can't just take it straight in there. You got to put it in the vault. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is that what they call it? The you vault? Got to, you got to spit on it and lubricate it. The shoot, the hoop. The, <laughs> they call it a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? You going to play with yourself. Boop. <laughs> 
Then you go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How do you walk? You know what I'm saying? You walk still. You can't move. But no, man, a lot of these YouTubers, man, glorify where they been, man. But they don't know. They hurt a lot of people by going to the penitentiary because you got to depend on your family now to send you packages, send you money to accept your call. Who wants to do that, man? Who wants to do that? That they go, they go to work every day and make a living to pay their bills, but all the time you calling or writing them, I need some money, I need a package. Who wants to do that? You know what I'm saying? You set yourself up to go, so you got to survive up in there. You got to do what you got to do up in there. But I listen to this stuff, man, back and forth. I think it's a script. I think it's a script. I think they call each other to say, yeah, I'm going to start beef with you, and then you're going to start beef with me. We're going to get our views up. I think it is, man, but it's they doing it all for the wrong reasons. They say they want to go on here and stop the kids from going to jail. That's never going to stop. You're never going to stop the kids. Just say you're a storyteller. Just say you went this and you don't care if they go to jail or not because they making their decisions the way they make their decisions. Lock the door. Proof of grind all the time, baby. Yeah. yeah. Cali Vines, baby. baby. Proof of grind all the time. Music money. Got a dollar sign. Hub City. I'm a street nigga. Streets fuck with me. I'ma keep pushing products till the fans get me. It's Guap off top. Diamond Cordier. That nigga wall won't give a pro bitch the time of day. They see me climbing. They see me shining. That's hard work. Proof of grinding. Make it happen. Word. 